Okay guys, I just made a video for the channel unboxing the Amaze Fit T-Rex 2 or T-Rex Pro 2 or whatever they're calling it. Um, I was looking for a GPS watch mainly uh, to do backtrack navigation a few months ago. And I was looking at the Garmin Instinct and that's how I came across these Amaze Fit T-Rexes. Um, you know, I, I knew they had the T-Rex and the T-Rex Pro. Um, I scooped up a T-Rex Pro in Desert Gray. That's this right here. Um, and the reason, I really wanted the Garmin Instinct for the backtrack feature, but the Garmin didn't have a color screen. It didn't have a touch screen. Didn't look near as cool as this. Um, so I ended up going with this, even though it didn't have the backtrack feature. And a few days after I got this, I found out that they just came out with the T-Rex Pro 2 that does have the backtrack feature and route import. So long story short, I'm sending this back. I picked up the T-Rex Pro 2 and just unboxed it a minute ago. So you can see desert gray T-Rex Pro, wild green T-Rex Pro 2. I don't think the T-Rex Pro 2 or the T-Rex 2 um, is available in desert gray. It is available in a khaki, a desert khaki, but it was not available at the time I ordered this. They only had the wild green or two different blacks, which I did not want black. I'm just sick of it. Um, so I went with the wild green, just something different, something earth tone. Uh, but in this video, what I wanna do is tell you the differences between the T-Rex Pro and the T-Rex 2. And uh, the big difference when it comes to features is why I am sending this back and ordered the two and it's because of route import and route navig and, and, ba and backtracking real-time navigation um, I spend a lot of time in the backcountry on dual sports motorcycles and there's so many turnoffs on gas line roads and stuff a lot of times we have a tough time finding our way back and I wanted to be able to hit that backtrack and just be um, you know sent right back out of the woods and that so that was a really important feature for me and the T-Rex Pro does not have that the Pro 2 does have that so I'm gonna try it out over the next few weeks um, on and off motorcycles and I will let you guys know how it works uh, also it's really hard to, to tell the difference but the uh, I'm gonna tell you about some other differences here the uh, T-Rex 2 has this little it's almost like a I don't know it's like it's almost like a place you could put a strap or something if you wanted to because it's but it says a maze fit which I think makes it look kind of cheap I prefer this one that doesn't um, let's talk about the screens the T-Rex Pro right here is a 1.3 inch screen and its resolution is like uh, I believe it's like 360 by 360 Hold on, I'm taking this band off so I can show you. Hope that wind's not too loud. Okay, so the T-Rex Pro is a 1.3 inch screen. It's like 360 by 360. And the T-Rex 2 is a 1.39 inch screen. Glancing at it, you can't even really tell it's bigger, but it is. And it's also 454 pixels. So it's going to work a little better for things you need to like, if you're really trying to look at your exercise while it's going on, anything, anything you're doing to try to read the screen while you're wearing it, it's going to be a little better on the T-Rex 2. Uh, also, the T-Rex Pro uses, it's, uh, it's a single band satellite system um, where the T-Rex 2 is a dual band satellite. It's dual band and five, uh, 5G NSS. So the real-time navigation and everything is going to work better. The GPS should be somewhat more accurate um, on the T-Rex too. Uh, also, as far as military ratings, um, there's like 15, I think there's 15 grades of military ratings and the T-Rex Pro and Pro 2 pass 12 of those. And I think the uh, T-Rex 2 passed 15, whatever that means. Not familiar with what those are. Um, it's got a little lower temperature operation. I don't know if it's like, I don't know what it is, but it's so extreme. It's more extreme than I would ever be using it anyway. And then um, I think as far as exercises, this is to be better at 
uh, instantly recognizing what exercise you're doing. Uh, and then lastly is battery. So I believe this is like 380 amp hour battery on the T-Rex Pro. They say it's supposed to last like 20 days if you don't have the heart rate on, you don't have the GPS on, whatever. The T-Rex 2 is supposed to last 24 days uh, if you don't have the, you know, if you run the heart rate like once every hour or something like that, not all day, and leave the GPS off, just get like 24 days out of it. So I can deal with that, I think. Um, then just glancing at them, it looks like the buttons are a little smaller on the side on the T-Rex 2. Um, another thing I've noticed is I really like this two-tone color on the band to the T-Rex Pro. And it doesn't have that on the T-Rex 2. And I don't know if it's just me if I'm losing my mind, but the T-Rex Pro band feels more rubbery and this T-Rex 2 almost feels more plasticky. I don't know if that's something they did for durability or if that's gonna feel different after the sheen comes off or what, but um, that's kind of alarming. You can see there's different bolts in the bottom to bolt it on. The sensors look different here. This one, the T-Rex Pro has the two charge prongs and like four different little sensors where this has one big one. And it looks like the chargers are different too. Um, see the little magnetic, uh, little, little magnetic charge pieces here. Um, they look like they're spaced different and different sizes. And here's another thing. You see how when I have the T-Rex Pro laying there and the band is really floppy and just lays there? The T-Rex Pro 2 does not do that. The band is... It has, instead of just being on a hinge, it's got these reinforcements on the side that make it sit like that. I don't know if I like that or not. I'll let you know after a couple weeks of wearing it. Um, so yeah, guys, these are substantial differences. I wasn't aware of any of them. It was hard to find a lot of information out there um, on the Pro or on the 2 yet. You can see the clasps. The clasps are a little different. I think I do like the look on the 2 better. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But those are the main differences between these two watches. I hope that helps somebody out. You can find links to both of these down below. The T-Rex Pro right now, I think it's just got marked down. I think you can get these for, uh, maybe 149 now. And I think these are 229 but there might be a coupon. You might be able to get them for like 209 So if you appreciated the time I spent on these reviews, Click on my links below and snag snag one of these from my links, and uh, it'll support this channel at no extra cost to you. So uh, thanks so much, guys. I'll be back in a couple weeks um, when I've worn this thing and let you guys know what I think. So see you in the next one.